So how does one go from a hobbyist retoucher to the professional level? Well, I'm not a professional. I don't know. You don't. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I, okay, seriously. I think that um, there was a point in time that I was a hobbyist. And I, for some reason, I always feel like a hobbyist because I enjoy this so much. It doesn't feel like I'm, I'm doing this as a profession. I joke around a lot, as you know. That's why I'm here. We joke around a lot. The Prince of Puns. Dead. There you go. That's yeah. that. He made that up. Prince of Puns. He's he's punny like this. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. And um, so I feel like the thing that you have to have as the first principle is being confident in your work. You have to be confident. The second thing is you have to have a game plan of transitioning from hobby to professional. For me, that was working in the commercial world first. Um, not in photography, but in business. And then I, I knew that, you know, I loved it so much for the first three or four years that I was doing this as a hobby that I wanted to start getting paid for it. And so I set up a portfolio online and I started reaching out to different photographers in the community and just to network. And I set a game plan for myself. I said, in the next two years, I'm gonna see if I can amount to what it is that I, I wanna do, which is transition into making most of my money doing that. So during my free time in the evenings, I would actually come home and start networking online. And eventually during the course of those two years, people would start contacting me. What platform were you networking on at this point? Unfortunately, Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. But I don't say unfortunately because actually at that time, there were quite a few, there were quite a few good photographers on there and quite a few good people who had great lighting skills, photography skills, but just didn't have the means to, you know, polish up their images. And they gave me a chance. And with the first photographer, I remember, I set up my portfolio uh, more extensively than the stuff that I had shot. In the beginning, I just had stuff that I had shot in my portfolio. And when I started getting photographers contacting me and, and working with me initially, I was able to set up a portfolio that was respectable enough to get other people contacting me. So it's kind of like a snowball effect. And in those two years, I was able to transition. So it didn't happen overnight. It wasn't something that said, you know, you're going to become a professional the next day. It was a, it was a big plan in, in progress. What's the new Model Mayhem? Is there one? I would say Facebook and Instagram. Facebook. Instagram is the new Model Mayhem because we're all going out there on Instagram and Facebook finding contacts and in the beginning. I mean, if you can't reach out to an agency. And nowadays you can look through hashtags, you can look at your competition and colleagues and they're tagging all their models and their stylists and stuff. So networking with them just online, it, it's... It's the new. What's your go-to hashtag? What do you? What do you? How do you find a hashtag? You know what my go-to hashtag is? What? Dodge and burn. Dodge I and love, burn. Yeah, because when you hashtag dodge and burn, everyone everyone likes to see good dodge and burn work. It's like a it's like eye candy for for retouchers. So people look that up, and I, I get a lot of people contacting me on Instagram through ha retouching hashtags. Bam. Hashtag. Yeah. Well, there you have it. I'm with the Duke of Dodging and Burning, and he's using hashtags. And Prince of Puns. The Prince of Puns. Don't forget that one. There's going to be more of these, I can, I can tell. 